Am I a little bit sick? Yes. Are we still doing this? Yes. Hi, uh, welcome back. It's been a long ass time and I live in a different place now. Today we are doing a makeup tutorial because I am not that great at it. But today we are aiming to recreate this look. So this beautiful look, it is by aprilskaya.png <laughs> on Instagram. Honestly, I have a lot of pink makeup and I've always wanted to do the little like hearts on my cheeks. So we're gonna try and see how this works out. Also, I'm really, really bored, so. <sighs> I'm hoping this helps for that. First things first, we're gonna make this real great and easy for me and use foundation, which I literally never use. Um, but I do have this one that I thought I would be using when I believed in myself. So it is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Uh, big ups to the lady uh, who helped me at Debenhams to choose out my actual shade. So I know this is the shade for my face. I just don't use it because I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't have another mirror, so I'm doing everything based on the camera. So this is gonna be fun. So now that I look like an alien and all the spots on my face that are dry are really well accentuated, um, let's dry this up even more with clear powder because why not? Today we are using the multi finish powder by Skin Food. That smells so good. It smells like peach, which is legitimately one of the only reasons I got it. Oof. Yeah, that's bad. Bronzer because I don't know how to use it and that'll be fun. Um, I have the Hula bronzer which was recommended to me by the lady who helped me get my foundation and she honestly believed way too much of me and my makeup skills because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just putting this on random areas of my face. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> that looks really good. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna rub it around. <laughs> oh lord, okay. I'm glad I'm not leaving the house today because this is not gonna be nice. How is that even... How? Okay, you know what? I don't know how to make that less harsh, so we're just gonna go with it. Um, I put foundation like all over my eyelids, which is not a good idea. So let's wipe some of that off. Right, so before we look at what the thing needs to actually look like. We're gonna use primer. I use the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. I have never filmed a makeup tutorial before. Please be patient with me. We'll take my favorite uh, brush, which is the uh, NYX number six brush. Uh, legitimately, um, I'm talking like I know things, but this is my favorite brush. It's so soft and I use it to like well, it's made to be a blending brush, but I use it to like put anything on my eyes. <laughs> oh, so I'm using this shade uh, from my Etude House palette. I'll link everything in the description. Um, as you can tell, there's little to no technique here. I'm just like smushing it everywhere because we are doing this the way I would normally do my makeup, which is with a lot of luck. Okay, so now I've got like a basic light pink all over my lids so now we're gonna add some like intense pink so this one right here uh, for my NYX uh, rainbow ultimate shadow palette let's just get that shit everywhere because it needs to show up on camera so now we need to like darken the corner a little bit uh, I'm gonna do that uh, with this uh, crease brush from Real Techniques and we're gonna take that really pink shade right there and get it right in the corner this is how the pros do it you guys Oof. okay well that doesn't matter we're putting it under there anyway um, so just like sponge it on there and then we'll end it in honestly on camera it doesn't even look Okay, yeah, it does look pretty bad. But, right, so we've got a basic pink going like everywhere. And now we're gonna put it underneath the eyes because that's what she has. 
Alright, so we're gonna use this 3CE brush, uh, which I got in Korea. Honestly, I was expecting a lot from it, but it's kind of shit. Like, it's not that good. Uh, it's really, really, like, harsh. The bristles became really harsh really quickly. Um, yeah, it's just not the best quality, which is kind of disappointing because, like I said, I paid a lot for it. I would say Real Techniques and NYX are like a lot more worth your money um, for brushes, unless I just got like one that's kind of shitty and not as good. We're gonna do the brows next. So the way that she has them on in the photo um, is like one of them seems like purple and the other one seems pinkish. Um, so we're just gonna do that with eyeshadow straight up because I don't have any colored brow pot products and to be honest I don't do my brows which you can tell because they are just a straight up mess so we're gonna take that purple shade we're just gonna go in there with straight up shadow on an angled brush this is again a real techniques brush um, I'm obviously tapping off the excess because I am not an amateur. Now I think we're gonna do the eyeliner, which was like a like a little purple wing. I am going to be fancy and use my Too Faced Peach Palette. Um, and we're gonna try that purple one, which is called Delectable. Oh, oh my god, that actually looks really good knock on wood um let's see Ooh. yeah I don't wear eyeliner a lot because I don't know how to make it suit my face and also I I get a lot of like water coming out the sides of my eyes a lot especially when it's cold outside um, but also just like at work so I don't want to wear it because then I always like have half of my eyeliner left and I feel like everyone can like see it which they obviously can so okay so um, I found these stickers which Honestly, the hearts are like not exactly heart shaped, but we're gonna go with them because I'm not making this out of washi tape. I'm just not, that's not happening. So uh, according to the photo, she has them like pretty much underneath her eyes, like, but next to her nose. So we'll put that there. Let's, I'm gonna go check this. It looks like what she's done is just straight up put blush around them but not in like huge circles um, and then like highlighted them with a little bit of like eyeliner um so we're gonna try doing that uh i have the revolution <laughs> blushing hearts blusher um because that is also what the lady at the counter can you tell who i trust with my makeup um it's what the lady at the counter at Debenhams told me, she said, instead of getting the Too Faced one, I should just get this one because it's a great dupe and I'll save a lot of money. So that's what we did. Let me focus on that. So we're just gonna go around it with blusher. Yeah, we have to put a lot around it for it to actually like show up as being like an empty space. Honestly, the sticker looks cute like it is. Like I don't kind of don't even wanna take the sticker off so once it looks like you have a beautiful blooming rash right on that I mean I'm extending it out because it looks fucking weird if I don't <laughs> oh my god oh okay okay I see I may have gone a tiny bit overboard with that um, but you know what? For this video, I am the clown emoji, so we might as well go all in. My camera is running out. I do not know where I placed the battery when I moved, so we're we really out here just living on a prayer and half a battery. Yeah, I was thinking of posting a house tour because obviously um, everyone needs to see where I live. Um, and by everyone, I mean like legitimate my friends who are like, please show us things. Um, Cause I left the country and they haven't heard from me. So 
yeah, um, I'll probably do that just so like at least the people I know can see where I'm living now. Um, I won't dox myself, obviously, but you know, the apartment's looking cute, so you kind of want to show it. Okay, so after you have those beautiful clown cheeks ready, um, we're gonna highlight them a little bit. I don't have white eyeliner. I really should get some because I want to do cute like clouds and stuff. Um, but she also looks like the on the other cheek she has little like pink dots around the heart. So we're just gonna do that for both of them. Um, I actually, we're in luck. I have um, pink NYX or NYX, however you want to say it, eyeliner. So we're gonna go ahead. Having manual focus on this was totally a great idea. There we go. We're gonna like highlight it with cute little dots. Then we're gonna do the nose because it looks stupid with just, just the cheeks, but with the nose, I think it's really gonna pull it together. So we're just gonna blush the hell out of my nose and then put some highlighter on it because we want to look like a glazed donut. Um, I'm just gonna do what I always do, which is go ham on that tap it um, and then just like blush it up. We're aiming for the sick tomato level. I like to call it sick tomato because um, I once put blush on my nose and then I posted photos of it. Well, actually I put blush everywhere on my face and then I posted photos of it on Tumblr um, and someone anonymously sent me a message saying I look like a sick tomato. So. Um, that's what we're going for here. Put some on, like, not only on the tip, but at the front as well. Really get that Rudolph, Rudolph thing popping. Mmm, cute. Wow, this looks amazing. Okay. And then we're gonna put highlighter. Uh, let me get it, actually. Yet again, another suggestion by the Debenhams Counter Lady. Uh, this is the Makeup Academy highlighter, and again, this is something she told me that I should get um, because it is cheap and it's a good dupe for expensive ones. I don't understand why I want to manually focus this entire video, but the, my camera is not feeling great. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is a beautiful blushed little nose. Okay, so I don't have actual pink glitter for my eye, so we're just gonna put a bunch of different ones in like a tear sort of motion. So we're gonna curl my eyelashes and then try some fake eyelashes. So I don't actually have a full pair of fake eyelashes. Uh, there's only one in the box and I don't know where the other one went but I've worn them a few times, so they're kind of grimy anyway. So we're just gonna go with mascara on this one. Um, the focus on this entire video is absolute shite. I am aware of that. Let's see, um, next up, she also has little like black dots right underneath, like in the middles, so we're gonna do that. That looks more like it. Clown emoji? Who? Legitimately. I think the only thing we have left is the lips, which honestly, it just looks like she has on lipstick, so. Who knows? So let's do that, I guess. I'm gonna do a combination of things. Um, my lips are always really, really dry, so I'm not great at like putting stuff on them. Um, we'll do that e-girl thing where they like fill in their cupid's bow. Because it'll make my lips look bigger. And then we're gonna go over- <laughs> this looks so weird by the way. You can just see my mouth like speaking. This is the worst. You're looking at my teeth and I hate it. Um, we're gonna use this sweet, sweet fruit tint <laughs> um, that I got at a semi-dodgy sale. So that gives us a little bit of a, like a shine. This is the finished product. 
Um, my hair is too short and I don't have the things needed to make it look like in the photo, but this is the gist of it. I put some pins in to get like that Insta look. Honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. Like on camera, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll zoom in to get like the full gruesome shots. Okay, the lips look cute. The heart things actually turned out really, really sweet. The nose looks nice. The eye makeup is a little much, but the brows are actually super cute. Um, I like the little dots as well. Um, my battery's about to die, but thank you for watching this video if you did. Uh, please leave me a comment if you want me to do another look from Instagram or wherever with makeup, because this was fun. Thank you. <laughs>